Hello everyone. Thanks for coming. My name is Tim. I retired back in 2019 and my bucket list was to travel throughout the United States on a budget. So I've been building minivan uh, into a camper so I can live and travel on a very, very tight budget. So today I'm proud to present to you my kind of finished build. I, 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 I proud to say this is my one of the project that I'm really happy with it. So, uh, just a head up uh, warning: this is gonna be a long video. It's impossible to make a uh, van tour without explaining everything that I do in this build. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's talk about the vehicle. This here is a 2008 uh, Toyota Sienna. I bought it from a used dealer with uh, 95,000 miles on it. And I already put 10,000 miles on it already, believe it or not. So let's check out uh, the engine bay, and I will explain to you why I decided to choose this vehicle instead of uh, other vehicle. Oh, by the way, I will put uh, all this different area into chapters so if you know you watch a little bit here and come back and watch the next segment you know later on if you want to all right let's take a look at the engine so this here is a v6 uh, 3.5 liter engine i believe i don't know the exact horsepower to put it out but i decided to choose a minivan with a v6 instead of uh, a lot of cargo van like most people do with a fall banger to get the good mpg you know like i think most of the people those van those uh those uh work van get about um, 30 something mile per gallon this one you will get 25 mile per gallon on the highway and average 15 on the city but this is my vehicle travel on the road so i didn't care much about the city uh, mpg so 25 is not bad for for a vehicle that you can sleep in and live in while you travel on the road. So this is a V6. As I told you, it used to have a cover right here, but I guess they took it out. So, But that's fine. That's make it easier to see everything. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the reason I bought this vehicle, because if you can see right here, there's no plastic cover. That means it's have time and chain. So this will eliminate uh, costly... Uh, Maintenance because with the uh, timing belt every 90,000 miles you have to change them out Otherwise, you're gonna have some issue with engine and that's thousand of dollar maintenance. So this eliminate uh, that that uh, maintenance uh, cost Right now it's have 95,000 miles. Uh, well right now it have 105 already So I'm hoping to get another hundred thousand miles of this vehicle and that and I bought this for ninety five hundred dollars so it's a little bit pricey, but you know what? For 95,000 miles, not a bad deal, not a bad deal. I would rather pay a little bit more than uh, have to deal with a headache. All right, let's go take a look inside, all right? Well, before we go inside, this is a Sienna LE. So, and it came with a hitch already with a hookup. And it actually have a electric brake controller inside the vehicle to control if you tow a heavy trailer then, you know, it, it doesn't put a lot of tax uh, braking on the vehicle itself. All right, let's go see the inside of the vehicle. Yeah, believe it or not, it's 86 degree inside this vehicle right now. And this is, uh, this is January 14, I believe. And it's supposed to be winter time in California. And I'm here, I'm in short, sandal, and t-shirt. That's kind of weird. Anyway, so for, as you can see right here, I have my uh, window cover for the uh, windshield. This will be part of the window covering, all right? We will get into detail a little bit after we get it. So the interior is uh, pretty much the same as all, all power steering, power seat, 
automatic transmission. So don't mind the mess there. I'm, I just installed a, a rain guard. So I will show you that, that a little bit later on. And when I uh, make this camper, the purpose, my whole purpose, to this van build, it had to be, uh, it have to have, it have to have three requirements, three main requirements and two two minor requirements. First requirement, it have to be cheap. Second requirement, it have to be lightweight. Third requirement is it have to be easy to build. And the fourth one is you can convert between mode easily. As we go through it, you will understand what I'm talking about. You're going to have to go between passenger mode to camping mode to carrying stuff mode. So, so right now it is configured to carry up to five people. So the front, you can carry two people. So you can see I'm sitting in one. Also in the back, if you can see that rear seat is up. So three people will be able to sit back there with all the seat belt and everything. So you can see uh, the curtain in the back that uh, that curtain covering is a no build uh, covering. So I will show you a little bit later on. All right. So I load as much as I can kind of simulate what it would take to, uh, to be on the road right now. So the two seat right there is pretty much for two people sitting up there. And as you can see, the bed right now is configured for one person only. And by the way, this is kind of short because from there to here is 64 inches. So if you five foot four, you fit perfectly like this. And also, I cut the foam a little bit short. There's a reason to that. So I will explain to you uh, why I do it like that. So let's see. Are we talking about a bed right now? All right. Let's jump a little bit. We're not talking about a bed. We will talk about power supply. That way, once I move this into passenger mode, you will understand why this pump was cut short. For power supply, I use a 330 watt uh, boulder uh, power pack, which I, it, uh, it can be charged when I'm driving through uh, one of these, um, what do you call it, accessory plug. That's one there. That's one, two, way out there. So I can charge these. It will take about four hours to charge it from uh, from zero, I think from zero to fully charge 100%. But if it's 50%, you can get it fully charged in two hours. Same thing with my, uh, this is my uh, Jackery 240, which right now is running my fridge. If I run this in eco mode, uh, oh boy, I'm run jumping all over the place, don't I? This battery will run this uh, fridge. I use my fridge as a freezer, so that's why it sit under here hidden away. Because I'm not going to use it, uh, take anything out of it that much. I I'm not going to open it right now. Once I remove this uh, bed, convert it to pad, it's easy to see the access to that uh, fridge. So I just add this today, uh, the rain window rain cover. I think I paid this $33 on Amazon. So that will help you open, crack the window open for ventilation without rain coming in. All right, let's go inside and take a look inside. So this vehicle have a, on this side, it's actually have a manual opening window. And on the other side, it is power window. So you can either open up from here and here, inside here. Let me see if I can open here. I can push the button right here. And it will open that door. There's three ways you can open that door. All right, let's go check on the other side. You can push on that button. And the door will close.
or you can just pull this handle and it will open itself. So that's why I decided to put the bed on this side. This, that way I don't put wear and tear on this door. I would rather use uh, the manual door to get in and out of this vehicle. All right, I'm gonna leave the door open for ventilation. So you're probably gonna hear a lot of bird chipping going on. So back here is a story area in the back rear compartment. I built this platform so that way, and I bought these two uh, from Target for like $12 a piece, so $24 total for these. I don't remember these. These are just uh, flat tub, whole clothes, whatever I want. So I can actually fit about two more in there. Tons of storage back here. I still have room for storage here, slide, you know. Here's my outer stove. But I want to show you this because this piece is very important. Uh oh, getting blurry. This is another piece that will make that single bed into two person bed. All right. All I have to do is take this out. So this piece come out. See now, we will put this piece over there. All right. I'll bring you back once I put it in the, in the two person bed mode. You can see there's a little screw right there. I need a screwdriver for this. I'm going to put you on hold. Gonna remove that bolt. You don't really need the screw to. Uh, I just want to make sure nothing moves. I think I put some glue in it. That way, it's a little bit harder to get it out. a little bit more to it than that but that's pretty much how it become a two-person bed and you know during daytime if two person want to be lounging all these pieces will come apart all right I'm gonna take you back when I'm take so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna remove both of these this and another piece under here and we can convert this vehicle into passenger mode that carry five people so the bed is 36 inch wide and it's four inch thick. Don't buy it as medium uh, uh, hard, buy it uh, hard. That way, look, see, I just barely push it. So I used to have a six inch uh, foam, but it's, as you can see the height, I have to keep it uh, so I can give room in here. So I'm 5'8". So in order for this bed to be comfortable, I have to move that seat forward and I struggle on how to put that little piece in. So I will show you what I do with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that seat forward and you, know, you can see me what I'm actually doing. Now, if I travel by myself, there's no need to move this seat. Once I set it up, then it's good to go all the time. So I struggle. I was going to use these things to install them and then uh, hook them up like this. And put the, the, the extensive piece in. You know, put it here and put it in. But you see how awkward it is. That's one option. Or you can get one of these, install them and fold them down, bring them up like this. 
that will work too. But uh, I kind of get lazy, so this is the easier way. Just run a rope, put it up here, and you're good to go. The height already configured to be uh, that, that high leg. See, have it like this. Back a little bit. So now it's all flat. And this piece will go in here. And that's how I gain, I can sleep comfortably. It's actually, this total uh, length is six feet total from here to the back, six feet. So if you're six feet, you will sit comfortable like this. And like I said, if you travel by yourself, this is perfect to sleep like this. And you never have to change your bed. Let me take you back to another area. We kind of like done with the bed, but let me show you something else. Before, I'm going to show you how you can make this single slipping uh, arrangement into two person slipping arrangement. All right. So before I disassemble this uh, platform here to convert this back area into carrying passenger, I just want to show you how the platform is support from back here. It's just a little piece of wood that slides in between those slots. I will show you once I take it out. All right. Okay, so the extra piece is going back here. You probably see my uh, window covering already. So you can store it like this. Uh, see the platform, that section, store on there, that little piece going between there, which go down here, support in the, on the seat. Five people is pushing it because of the fridge. It's in the way. So two will probably be comfortable back here. The fish slide over in the middle, so you have you carry two people back here comfortably and legally too. So, and that's how you convert from camper mode to passenger mode. Most likely, I will never have to unless I really, 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 really have to. All right, let me put this back to my uh, camping mode anyway, and then I will show you. How I access to stuff down here. Pretty much all the stuff I will need once, once I'm inside a vehicle. Those are my uh, pantry. I have two of those. There's other heater. I will bring them all out once I uh, And then we're going to go over uh, about... I think we already went through power supply, didn't we? Actually, not all of it. There's another hidden power supply that I haven't mentioned yet. So let's finish the passenger mode and then we're gonna go back into uh, camping mode and then um, go from there. All right, before we go on, let's talk about window covering. As I told you before, in the front, I used the windshield uh, window cover that you can buy from any Walmart or store, auto parts store. Originally, I had used the reflective as my covering for window, but look how Come on, reflect. It means it reflects, so it doesn't look that attractive uh, from inside. Also, I have in order to black it out in the front. I have to buy. I bought a plastic dip to spray on from the outside. I will show you once we go outside what it looked like from the outside. Actually, you know what? Let me pull it down from here so you can see. See, it's all black. And reflect it on that so you can actually reverse it you know reverse it both sides for when it's sunny outside you want to reflect you don't care if people know you inside or not but these are expensive it's like $24 for a can and they only able to make two of these so to opt for a better solution you know once you reflect it you put a face out people will know you inside so I reuse some of my fabric and I make the custom cover I actually have reflected inside, cut it, and then, uh, yeah, don't ever use two different materials. I try to use this and this together, and they didn't come together right, so I kind of use one. The benefit of using uh, fabric is look nice, whatever color you want. See, so one of the problem I come around is uh, it tends to fall off. So the solution is go to warmer uh to uh, dollar store get one of these packs with these uh, little hooks 
they, uh, you can cut a hole and it's pretty easy to slide them in. All you do is just uh, pull this through. I think it's going to be hard to do with one hand here. Keep pulling, pulling, and you know, and it will slide out. So what you do, you make a hole, push it through, and then slide it in. Let me pull this out and show you what it looks like. So it will stay up. And the benefit, there's a hook, right? So you can hang whatever you want. Let me see if I can find a piece of cloth. Let's say you have a rag or something, just hang them. You can hang pretty much about anything up there. I wouldn't put too much weight on them though. So it's pretty easy to pull them out. They stay up. See, you can hear how 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 much it stay up. But uh, it's nice. I like fabric because when you sleep, there's a lot of moisture in the vehicle, and the fabric will uh, absorb it. And then during during daytime, it will dry off itself. See, this is reflective also. See inside here. I just make it like a pillowcase and put it inside and slide them up. It's actually, uh, if you have a sewing machine, it's pretty easy to put them in. See, I like to use these. You can hear them pop out. So they pretty much stay up here, strongly stay up there. Easy to take them out. I'm not taking this out because I'm not, I never look through here anyway, so I might as well leave this here. So let's check out how I put the curtain in the back. So in the back, ooh, so dark. Get yourself a lot of these big uh, medium clip, slide them. What I do is I use glue gun, I put magnet. I kind of space them out evenly. I start out in the middle, right here, in the middle. Then kind of space them out evenly throughout. So let's put them up. So this is in the middle. Yeah, it's hard to do with one hand. Hold on, let me put you down. Yeah, it's better if you do with two hands. I just start out in the middle. Two, three. This one I use the belt right here. It's already have metal, so. Oh, I, I'm starting on the wrong one. That's not the middle. Where's my middle? My middle is here. See, when it start, it have enough, uh, and it will stay up. Boom. Of course, when you film, nothing will run, right? That's it. That's how you put the curtain up using magnet without drilling nothing. It's easy to put them through. Wow. You get the idea. I swear it will fine <laughs> before filming, but yeah, that's how I do the, the rear. Or you can use a smaller clip. Clip them. Let me show you. Just use the uh, smaller clip, like this. You clip them on the, clip them onto the side and then slide them in. See, like this, then you slide them in. It'd probably be easier for you, see? And they stay up. Pity, I think that's a quicker way. Somebody was suggesting me using magnet. I think this is the better way of putting it in here. Let me see, let me use the bigger clip. See how it holds up. Yeah, actually, the pick a clip is better. Clip them and slide them in. See how easy it is? Go up. Yeah, magnet is not good. So that was my see now. You can see nothing is, uh, everything's drilled on my channel. So. All right, for lighting, I use this uh, two-in-one uh, device. It's a light and it's a fan. It's using uh, plug into the USB on uh, my battery pack. That's the light mode. That's the light and fan together. 
I also use uh, I have I use all kind of different light. Let me see here. I have a I bought this from uh, from uh, Harbor Freight. Easy. You can it have magnet. You can kind of stick it up somewhere with metal. So that's another lining source. All right. Let's go through what I do in here. Let's put this out of the way. And now we're going to talk about uh, how I cook my food in here, all right? So right now I'm sitting in my lounging chair. So let me open up the door so you can have a little bit more light coming in. So this is my lounging chair, my living area, kind of like my living area, right? So it kind of looks a mess right now. Should be look like the way you live in. So this is my stove. I would put up here. Uh, this is my water supply. I keep it simple. I have four more gallons on the other side. I will bring you over. See, there's more tons of storage down here. This is all the stuff that I would need. See, you you kind of kind of see the few gallons back there. So I keep the one I use here. I I actually have a pump. The USB power pump, but uh, right now I haven't figured out how to mount on this yet, so just pour it out, keep it simple. So that's this, this is where I cook my uh, food. Let me see all my cooking utensils, it's pretty much in here. This, this actually is my uh, shower, smart bath towel kit. So all and cleaning supply for dishes so for showering yeah this is all i need for for keep myself clean i don't need a whole lot so let's see my pantry food get ton of story back down here see this is the portable they call it warm hand personal heater portable catalytic personal heater only when it's stream oh, of course this is a uh, very important, always have a carbon monoxide detector, always. This is where I store all my gas. Uh, I have two different stoves, one that use propane, another one used propane, um, butane, and then this, another one used propane. This propane is used for this also. Always have a pump for the vehicle. Let me see, right now the, the fridge is running using 30 watt. I don't know if you can see. Right now, it's using 30 watt of power. Okay, let's say I need my frozen food, right? Just pour it out from here. I said I will never get it unless I need something really bad from this. So I have room to get it out from my seat. Woohoo, look at that. Can everybody know what it is? Yeah, it's egg roll. This is for the meetup. So right now I'm keeping it freezing. In about two days that will be get consumed. So that's where I store my uh, fridge. I got more pantry food storage there. Let's go to the other side and bring the, the other one. See, like I said, if I don't use something, then it will stay down here. I think those are my uh, rice cooker. Actually, you know what I forgot to bring? I have another tub that uh, that uh, have all my uh, cooking stuff in it. All right, let me bring you back. Yeah, this is uh, a tub that I have all my cooking stuff in it. Here. That's why I say you need to design a system that you can get to your stuff without moving anything. So all my cooking stuff is in here. Plate, uh, frying pan, Utenso, it's a little mess. I was using it so and my stove is of course over there so I can always pull this out away get my stove more than likely if I came in one place for a long time the stove will stay right there it doesn't have to move at all yeah you have to have a place for everything in uh, tight places like this or I just leave it up here like this there you go. You can leave your, your tub in 
since you use it anyway, bring it up and then you can open out of stuff. I can get to my food, dry food here, frozen food. I didn't bring out my, uh, one of my uh, cooler, portable cooler. So I'll probably show you that a little bit later on. So let's see, let's go to the other side what I have for water supply, all right? Before we go to the other side, right there is my solar panel. So if I'm not driving and boondocking somewhere, that will be my uh, supply. I will put a link up on the top, either up there or in the description box for how I install that on this roof rack up here. Yeah, it will go up here to supply, to charge those battery pack. That and the other one, this one. All right, let's go to the other side. So over here, I store four gallon of water to this so I can get them out from here as, as I go. I said, I always have one gallon sitting over there. So whenever that run out, I will swap them out for this. So I'm working on a system without having to do this. I actually have a pump that I can check, actually put them in here and then I, I have to figure out where to put that pump for now. So yeah, these are the hardware that I used to install the, the solar power. That's pretty much it. I don't think I miss anything else here. That's pretty much a setup for one person to go camping comfortable. And then if you need to, you can live two person in here. Travel on a road, two person sitting comfortable in the front. You had kind of have those, like reconfigure it bed a little bit. Sometimes I don't have to because if I sleep, I sleep on the side and I call up. So I probably don't need to. Yeah, one thing I, one very important I forgot to mention, uh, as you can see today is a different day. It's raining outside and the uh, rain guard actually works. I actually have a little bit crack open here. You probably won't see it, but there is a crack. So it's a ventilation even when it's raining. So this is what I use for my uh, toilet area. My number one there. And that's for number two. And actually this can function as a chair also. So let's open it up and uh, I use, uh, these are rabbit bedding uh, mulch, pipe mulch. All right, let's set it up. This is how you, I use to do number two. Yeah, so I'm sitting in my lounging area. This area is where I'm gonna set up the toilet and do my business if I have to. So this fun this lid it functions as a seat. You just uh double bag it, go around the ring, put it here and get it ready for the night. I mean it took me about maybe a couple minutes to set it up because I already have the bag. See I put that toilet paper and the extra uh, uh, what do you call it shaving inside the bag itself so when it's time to use I just open it up and set them up less than 10 seconds put them out so I got room for my legs sitting over here I'm not gonna show you I'm gonna sit in here but there is room in here even though it's tight in here but there's room for for doing anything I need to in here and when I'm done, just fold them up and put them away. So thanks for watching. If this is something uh, you like, on this channel, nothing is professionally done, all right? I'm just going to show you like it is. And a lot of stuff I do is on the very tight budget and easy to do. So if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the, the, this video, go ahead and give me a thumb up or thumb down. If it's not that good, I, I'm, I, I'm willing to learn from other people. And if you have any suggestion that I can improve in this vehicle, go ahead and put it down in the description. Uh, not description, in the comment section. And um, share it out. If you know somebody that can use the, you know, have this vehicle and want to build up their vehicle. I'd be, be happy to give them uh, help, you know, not physically, but whatever I can help you, I will. So thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Bye now.